beautiful Seven Vines Vineyard in Delwood, Minnesota. And the Herb Brooks Foundation. Seasons as head coach, Herb Brooks has made Minnesota a national power in college hockey. Seven Vines Vineyard and the Herb Brooks Foundation presents A Day in the Sun with Minnesota Hockey Greats with John Masich, Herb's daughter, Kelly Brooks Paradise, Ron Peltier, Jim Boo, and Paul Otsby. Question goes to Jim Boo. Um, could you share just a little bit, Jim, about your uh, national title win with the, the, the Golden Gophers? Um, anybody that watched the movie Miracle, uh, I, I think got an accurate portrayal of her, you know, and, and, and that's just who Herbie was. Now I'm sitting with two guys that could play and I was the guy that was down at the end of the bench by the sticks in the back of pole. But I will, I will, I'll show you one, one Herbie story that sticks out in my mind. So I, I walked on over there just looking for an opportunity because my father, you know, put, went to the University of Minnesota, played some, on the football team. And uh, we're right dead in the middle of our first practice. He blows the whistle, he skates over to me, and I'm playing with people like Bill Baker, Joe Micheletti, you know, just Hall of Famers. And I thought, well, maybe I should try a move, you know? I mean, what the heck, you know? That's a hockey puck. I'm at the practice, blows the whistle, stops everybody, skates over to me, picks up the puck, and he says, Boo, pretend we're in the Army. He said, this is a hand grenade. You got four seconds to get it to Vanelli, or it blows up and your butt goes to the bench. He said, so quit trying to think you're any good at this whole thing. You find Vanelli, you find Micheletti, you find somebody that knows what to do with a hockey puck and you make sure that nobody's sitting in front of our net. That's your role here. Otherwise, go sit down. So he had that, he had that uh, uh, ability of getting more out of us, which I think we're eternally grateful for. I, I know I am that Ron just said that getting more out of everybody than we knew we had. And you know, it's a privilege to know him. It was a privilege to, for me to spend some time playing for him. Um, for the Herb Brooks Foundation, for us to be here and for Ron to be kind enough to, to, to direct some of those resources to expanding the base of hockey, that's who Herb was. And, and, and a lot of times when you're done playing, the coach is just done talking to you, but Herbie was more of a friend after uh, the hockey season was over than during the hockey season. So I, I can't say anything but being very, very grateful to have an opportunity to, to know him and to play for him and then to sit with a couple of uh, guys like this to, 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 you know, give them a little credit, you know, on a, on a beautiful day like today. Hey, Johnny. Bye.